Hello once more to EU4 Genoa on my mind or Genoa on my mind campaign in EU4 where we're going for the Georgia on my mind achievement as Genoa. I'm Golden South and we are, boy it feels good to be beginning again doing this war which is going perfectly according to plan so far. Uh, it doesn't look good for, for uh oh. Oh, you know what better, this better not happen here. You know what better not happen. People state better not take some land from Provence. Because how much you want to bet that they want it? Oh, this is this is bad news for me. Um, I really don't want... I wanted to ally the people state. But now, they're going to be taking land from Provence, which I want. This is my Provence. Anyway, that aside, everything else is going according to plan. And Castile is not yet declared on Granada, although we, they only have, I only have two more years before they do. They are dealing with their... It's, you know, it's stuff that they start out with some, some very poor uh, leaders and disasters and things like that that they can get. But be that as it may, I haven't played Castile basically ever. So let's just go ahead and how about we start a little naval invasion. How does that sound? It's a nice way to start our day. Savoy grants access to Provence. I really shouldn't have given people state access. Well, Provence access, but that automatically gave people state access. I may have done that to myself. I really didn't think that they'd actually take land, but now that I'm looking at it, they absolutely will. Very, very likely. We're gonna do a, basically a two-on-one uh, battle here against Byzantium. Election! Luckily our guy isn't leading the army because he just died. Um, right? Right? Right. And we have a better general too, which is great. Is that possible? They start out with a real used to start out. No, that's Albania. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's gonna be the bureaucrat candidate for this time, for this point of the game. Too bad he died so early, only two years in. It's a shame. The guilds have taken over again. I want, um, please, to uh, have the traders instead, but I'm not gonna pay diplo points to do it at this point. Our first idea group is very likely going to be a diplomatic idea group. All right, now we've got to get some more troops over here. Let's take the transports back to here. You know, we don't really have enough, do we? We're going to need possibly to go over our force line. We're already over it, apparently. Well, if we're going to be taking a loan, may as well hire a mercenary. But I think with that, we'll have enough. You know, let's take this guy off and send the incomplete stack. And let's remove ourselves. Let's. This is actually multiple armies. So let's just take this guy to here to be a placeholder and this guy back and we'll cancel the mercenary it would be a bad place to train it here anyway probably better to do it here but at least this has started and maybe just maybe and there's a good chance of it when the ottomans peace out albania which will be soon um that they will yeah they don't have any allies or anything that they will declare on byzantium while this war is going on and continue the siege for me which would be nice because 9k is a lot to siege that down. Army has arrived in Moria. Excellent. So, merge these, and then it looks like we'll have it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Achaea's port is all the way over in the Ionian Sea, so I'm not sure if it's even faster. To, eh, it's pretty fast. Alright, let's send these guys up as well. To Constantinople. The envy of the world. The city of the world's desire. Navy has arrived. That's where we're going. The city of the world's desire. Now Venice as well, we also want to attack in the future. Who they allied? Just the void. Venice, I don't feel many qualms about attacking, because they're not in the Empire. Um, we could potentially even add their land to the Empire if we wanted to kiss up to the Empire Emperor. Our navy has arrived. And they will head over here to siege. We still have the manpower to reinforce our siege too, so it looks as though this is now um, locked. This is a lock now. This war, everything. Constantinople, Ikea, and Maria, and Athens are all on lock. As soon as you please arrive there. Constantinople will take a while to siege. I would not be surprised if it takes the rest of this episode. Byzantium has cancelled a military accident given by Crimea. I mean, the Ottoman siege of Albania took forever, and that's just that. Or perhaps they gave it up briefly to go fight here. I don't know. Finally, our troops have arrived. At this point, it might be advisable to go to speed 4. Um, let's keep the blockade there. 
No reason not to keep... Huh, you have to click in this now to scroll down it. I don't like that. Or do you? I don't know. It's weird. I was trying to scroll before and it wouldn't. It was throwing me off. What is it? Control click? Anyway, yeah, we'll just keep everything, everybody, where we are. We got 100% blockade here. Uh, which is good because we're going to need to start sieging that eventually. But more importantly, that's giving up us war score and then war exhaustion. And, um, you know, figure it out. They're already at medium. These guys are going to be at medium soon. What, they're 27, actually. I think, I don't know where the lines are. I think it's, t I don't know when it switches to medium and when it's high and when it's low, actually. I'm a little ashamed that I don't. But maybe this will be when I learn. It's a very good test case. I have to keep an eye on it. I think it's low when it hits zero. Venice refuses me one. Or is it five? See, I just don't know. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna take a while. Does this guy have any siege ability? Of course not. Let's just take him off. Oh we can't, I forgot. I can't do that anymore. I'll be next at the peace with the Ottomans. Full annexation. Okay, good. Now go ahead and declare on Byzantium Ottomans. Please. Be that stupid. It would be easy for you to do. Milan refuses to merge his Venice. What's your mission? They don't have one right now. Go ahead and pick City of the World's Desire. Oh, we got some ships. We got two transports. Go add them to the transport collection. And this should be our galley, right? Add it to our sort of galley fleet here. Where are the rest of our galleys? I feel like our navy's in weird places. You, galley, go. Here. Just everybody go to the Aegean Sea. This seven here has three galleys. This eleven here. So you only have... We didn't have that many galleys, I guess. We must be over our naval force limit now, I imagine. No, we're right on, on it. Right on it. I don't know why our land force limit went down. It's obnoxious. We were making money again. We could afford to get an advisor. Can we get a force limit guy, maybe? No. But we can get some pretty good ones. Discipline, morale, um, fourth defense. All are pretty good. I think... I don't know what's better, 10% morale or 5% discipline. I think the 5% discipline, um, just because at this point our morale is quite low, so 10% isn't much. But discipline is like, uh, I think it modifies your tactics as well as, um, let's see, where, where's discipline again? Discipline. Discipline, yeah, I remember that this description is pretty vague, actually. Um, tactics, leadership, morale, and equipment were all important bat to, in battles, however, no... However, so too was the discipline of the troops. Steady troops that could hold their formation despite the punishment of the enemy would prove more effective in combat. Damage done is multiplied by your discipline, and damage taken is reduced or increased by depending on... So basically... But that's similar to tactics, because tactics is damage taken, I believe. Uh, is, a multiple, is a multiplier for your... And I know that one affects the other. Let's just get in a fight and see what happens later on. The Navy has arrived. But no one has, to me, ever answered that question of what is actually better, all else being equal. At the start of the game, what do you want? The, the morale guy or the discipline guy? I really don't know. I need to kind of... Some, I, I haven't done the map on that, let's just say. Navy has arrived. Looks like Crimea's uh, invasion of Theodore is going well. Uh, what Navy arrived where? Oh yeah, galleys and transports are showing up. Good. It took about the same time to get, where, to get there. From either end. Not that is of much significance. I'm glad we're getting an extra military point now. It's really good. So we have a 411. Uh, Navarra. So this time Navarra went under Castile, not France. That happens. Sometimes France takes it, sometimes not. At least, hopefully, this time they won't have lost Avignon. Um, that was pretty weird. To Air, to uh, not Avignon, Armagnac, to, Ar to Aragon. No grud grants access to Piscov. Golden Horde, they do manage to take Grazon. Oh, you're fighting Kazan. You're doing quite well. Oh, so is Muscovy, that's why. Eh. Muscovy gets an early mission to, to I think, vassalize Kazan. England has broken romance with Navarra. Oh, gosh, I wish I could do those sieges at the same time. Car has declared war on Georgia. But 10 troops is what it's gotta be because of, um, you know, we could get a disease outbreak. And we need a minimum of nine. When you get a disease outbreak, that's what happens when you roll, if you don't know, when you roll a one on your siege progress. Every so many days, you have the siege rule, which determines whether your siege, siege uh, gets progress. You probably do know that. But if you roll a one, 
I mean, we rolled a five last time, which is what's called, what do they call it? Um, uh, I guess it was, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know about all these different siege statuses. But it's all a little complicated, frankly. Biscov, and and Halt. But yeah, one causes you to lose 10% of your army that's sieging it. So if you have just the minimum amount of troops that you need to siege it, which is nine, you would lose uh, 900 troops, which is pretty bad in and of itself, considering that my manpower is not particularly high. Uh, that's like, you can see, if my maximum manpower is 12k, that's, you know, almost a 12th, well, 13k, almost a 13th of my army. Saxony, uh, yeah, nah. which is less than 10%, but still sizable. Alright, let's do this one. I'm not even gonna read it. Like, these, these events really bug me. They're noxious. Money is money, new or old. The guild gain 10 influence, the aristocrats lose 10 influence, lose 15 prestige, Manchurka gets increased guild membership until 1350, three years, giving the effects uh, local production efficiency plus 20%, which is kind of lame. Or we get more manpower uh, until 1450, the aristocrats gain influence, but we lose 30 man monarch points. If I had a choice to gain 40% manpower at the expense of 30 monarch points, I might just do it. And I think, doesn't the aristocrats, if they end up in power, don't I end up with more manpower anyway? No, more force limit. And uh, less trade power, though. But right now I don't have any bonus trade power. Let's see, I think this is a good idea. And it's gonna take them, it's not gonna take them up to the top, but it's a good step. I think the aristocrats and the traders are both good. Currently being at war, the aristocrats would be good for us, and because we're going to be a very aggressive player anyway, it maybe might be good, even with the diminished trade power, because thinks this merchant republic might make up for that, and we'd have just as good trade power as anyone else. Um, we might even get a bonus to our tr overall trade power as a merchant republic. Let me see, what is the bonus that we get? Um, no, caravan power. Um, but as Genoa, we start out with trade efficiency. So yeah, we got a bunch of things going for us. Caravan power is great. Um, let's take the thing. Money is money, new or old. No. If they do us a few favors, we can keep the upstarts out. Sounds good to me. Hey, oh, they did take over. Cool, so now we ended up with 5% um, morale armies as well, and more uh, force limit. Which is good for us because we were over force limit. Now we're not. Which means we're making even more money, perhaps, than if the traders were in power, and we had the same amount of force limit. We don't really need to be at full maintenance at this point, actually. We can drop to half, I think, and really almost to none, actually, and be fine. Nobody's going to attack us at this stage. We're, we've improved with Poland tremendously, which is awesome. We're still improving with the whole state tremendously, which is awesome. And if this war ends today, they would take an alliance. And these guys would also take an alliance. So good. 7%. Take it. No, we got a breached wall, which is, which is, speaking of dice roll things, that's what happens when you roll 14. You can have it three times leading to a, a, a possibility of plus three to your natural roll. Similar to battles. Um, Montferrat. Stop saying. Similar to battles, zero of these numbers that add onto your roll, which will determine your ultimate, uh, your ultimate number. Ultimate, what's it called? Um, siege status. Based on here. The results of the roll are as follows. Supply shortage. 9 to 11, food shortage 12 to 13, and it tells you the chance of those happening. So in order to get a, the best one would be surrender, it's 21% chance, but we got a 28% chance of defendant's dessert, which would be worse, but still slightly more likely at this point. Ah, we got it. There we go. Now we can take our ships back. And, oh right, we got to fight their, our, um, their navy, such as it is. Uh, let's just take the transports then, and the other three barks can just come fight out here. You can all, don't all attach actually, in fact, just, um, no leader, please. And let's move, I don't know if the leader is more likely to die on board a ship, but it just seems like something that the developers of this game would do. We're gonna need six guys for that, and four guys for that, so let's do this. Let's just take the cab, I mean the, uh, these guys onto the ship.
Um, where's everybody? Did they all fit on? Oh, of course they did. Because they all fit on in the first place. No, they didn't. I don't understand how I got everybody on these ships. Oh, right, because I made more transports. Duh. For exactly this location. Not really, but sort of. Um, let's go to Ikea. We won that. We're writing for winning wars and fights and stuff. It's all good. We got 88%. All we need to do now, I think, is take... Actually, all we need to do, I think, is siege down Athens. And then we can vassalize them um, and take the land that we want. We don't even need to do this siege. If I'm not mistaken, because we're not actually asking them for this land. It's very tempting to take Constantinople for myself. And actually, I might just do that. <laughs> because uh, it's such powerful, it's such good trade power and stuff. And it's just going to give us an end to this whole area. It's worth, it would cost me a lot to core. Way too much. No, let's not do that. It's fine. They, they can control. We're, we're going to be stronger than us in this region anyway. It's not a big deal. We're not going to focus on this area, but we're gonna, at least going to keep the Ottomans that little bit weaker. And if they declare on us for Constantinople, which I really hope they take that mission sometime soon, then even so much better, because we got so many, we're going to have good allies. Even with just France right now, I imagine we can probably pull one out. Alright, well, they're all here. So let's go ahead and send... Um, some four guys down to here. They can't. They can't go there because the fort is blocking their movement. Well, that's just brilliant. Send them there, please. Navy has arrived. Yeah, GNC. Is the army moving? Yes, good. And let's have everybody else at this point. Well, we're just going to have to blockade and then use everybody else to protect for trade, I guess. That's probably the way to do it. So let's take... Um, we can't do it while we're transporting loaded uh, armies, I guess. And watch them get an attrition tick, too, before they land. No, it looks like they'll be fine. No, they won't. They will. They've got an attrition tick. That's obnoxious, because now they won't even have enough guys to see... Yes, they will. Never mind. Trabzon is now lost to Crimea because they finally peaced out. France has decided to improve with this That's good. We need to improve with them. In fact, it might be a good idea to do that right now. They're not, they're not super happy. How many favors do we gain per month? Three, right? Or per year. Uh, sorry, we gain one favor per year. Um, these guys have improved. Alright, well, I guess we'll just wait till Poland is done. Guild restrictions on cloth. Another one of these events. This time we can give the traders some influence. Um, local trade power up, local production efficiency down, uh, local production efficiency up, local unrest up, in everywhere. Where? Genoa, I guess. The nation, the, the city of Genoa, the capital. Well, we're going to do um, this one instead, please. Because Genoa is probably making us more money from trade anyway. And um, it's got huge trade power being a center of, like... A double center of trade coastal center and a free trade of oh I see that's actually just the modifier from the event cool very nice all right army has arrived in Athens now we're sieging it down and we can take off this guy can he move out of course he can that makes sense of course that makes sense Alright, now let's go ahead and just take our barks and send them to protect trade in Genoa. And everything else is history. Now. It's become history. Theodoro has broken their royal marriage. I think we can end this war in this episode just barely. We're running out of time. It's 48, so the truce between Castile and Granada is, unfortunately, just about to end. Um, we might have to declare that war right now, actually. At least we have the mission. Um, you know what? Who have they allied? Tell me they haven't allied Tunis. If they have, indeed allied Tunis. Which means the Tunisian navy is a threat. So let's see what... To, what um, Let's go to just totals. Uh, Genoa is above Tunis. 
Tunis has 21 troop ships, and Genoa has 23. Okay, good. So, of those ships, 7 are galleys, 9 are transports, versus... Tunis has more galleys than us. Or is it the same? No, they have more galleys than us. We have more light ships than them. I don't know. They have more transports than us, too. No, this is me. I have more transports than them. We have more ships, but it's not uh, its not quite what I want. I need to build more ships, but I think I have to end this episode here, unfortunately. I'm Golden Self. Let's build another galley. Even though it'll put us over to Force Limit. Like, let's build two. Um, I'm Golden Self. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video and believe I deserve that little bit of extra support that it grants me, go ahead and hit the like button with your face. And and go ahead and comment, subscribe, etc. as you feel necessary. Commenting is great because you can give me some feedback on what I'm doing, how things are going. Are you shocked and abhorred that I restarted the series? I don't know, but in any case, that's the end of this episode. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.